Hello, it's Rebecca from Rebecca Inc. Today we're going to do a bit of a mystery drawing. I'm trying to keep it a little fun. So grab your piece of paper, a pencil, whoop, a marker, and an eraser and join in with me. We are going to start about in the center of our paper with a circle. So get your whole arm going from your shoulder, round and round you go. When you get that shape, set your pencil down. It's going to be about this big. I'm actually drawing with you with a pencil. I think you can see it okay. Um, okay, off of this circle, um, actually let's add a little circle on the inside. Same idea, but this time just use your fingers round and round you go. When we say go round and round, um, take a note. My circle isn't perfect. Your circle won't be perfect. So let that whole idea of it being perfect go right out the window and just relax and enjoy what you're doing. From the middle of this circle, we are going to draw a line going straight up. To get that line, I'm placing my pencil down and I'm just going to dragging my whole arm up. Go back to that center. Drag your arm out to the side. When you involve your larger muscles, um, it makes it easier. Same thing on the other side. Now we need one going down, just like that, and another one going down. So we've kind of split it up into quadrants. Okay, now we need some ovals. So let's start at this top one. We're going to draw an oval from that center circle almost up to the top, a little bit skinny, about like that. Round and round you go to get that shape. If you squint your eyes, you can see that oval shape. We're gonna do that same thing going all the way around on each one of these lines. So right about there. You don't have to be exact, but go around your circle, drawing some ovals. Can you start to guess what we're drawing? Nice and light and loose. All right, now at the ends of those lines where we've got a little bit of line left, we're gonna add in a smaller oval. It's gonna be just slightly skinnier than that first oval we drew, just like that. Add in that oval all the way around. If I'm drawing my ovals faster than you, you can pause me and fill in your ovals. You're just doing one at the end of each of those lines. Okay, now where we have the very first circle that we drew, we are going to draw some little arcs to kind of connect those ovals. And the arc is going to rest on that first circle that we drew, just like that. To get that arc, I'm planting my wrist and I'm just moving my hand in that natural motion that it's going to go in. Uh, when you plant your wrist, you're kind of forcing your hand to do that. You just move in that natural motion. If it helps you to rotate your paper, rotate your paper. Okay, now we need a few connecting triangles. So we're gonna, well, let's start up at the very top like we've been doing. From that little oval down to that bigger oval, we are drawing just one line, but if you wanna see that triangle shape, it's right here. See that? So we are adding in the base of that triangle all the way around, connecting that oval to the bigger oval. I'm just going back and forth and back and forth, moving just my hand at this point because these are smaller, smaller shapes. Round and round we go. All right, if you haven't guessed, we are drawing a starfish. I'm assuming you've guessed, but you know. Okay, so our starfish, along these spines, they have a uh, little lumps. I'm going to call them lumps. We're going to use, um, we're going to do that actually, we're going to do the rest of it with our marker because I think you are just that good. So switch to your marker. I'm using a sharpie. You can use whatever you want. Um, I like a good sharpie. So we're going to start up at the top. We're going to go nice and light and loose with this. Actually, I'm going to change my mind. Let's start with the circles that we're going to do. So around this inside circle, sorry, it's Friday. My mind is going a million places. We're going to draw um, some circular shapes or dots 
headed down these spines. Um, they are a little bit bigger. So start right on that inside circle. Start where those two kind of overlap and then head down that arm. They do not have to be perfect shapes. That's why I thought we could switch right to our marker because it's actually going to actually look cooler if they're not perfect shapes because starfish are not perfectly symmetrical and they are not, um, their little spines aren't exactly all the same shape. So kind of vary it larger in toward the center and smaller as you go down. It's okay if you have a few that are larger in between, that's fine. All right, same thing all the way around. Heading down that spine. And as you get, you can add just like little dots. Next one, largest one, smaller, smaller, smaller. See how mine aren't perfect, you see that? In the long run, it's gonna actually look really cool. So don't sweat it, just kind of give it a circular kind of motion there. And it'll look really cool. doing a few dots, add in a few circles. Okay, now where we had, the reason I chose to do it this way, where we had these ovals, um, they have some more spines. So this will help give us that pattern. So we're gonna do a similar thing right along these ovals, um, just ever so slightly smaller as you go down till you get to the edge and then just do a few dots. Just like that. So kind of a little bigger dot, smaller as you go down. If you wanted to um, take away the idea of drawing a circle, you can just kind of plant your marker and give it a little squiggle. That would work too. Down we go. Moving around. You're just drawing the little circles around that oval, or little dots if you will around that oval, making them go smaller as you go, and when you get to the edge, turn them into a dot. All the way around our starfish. Just like that. Keep heading around. It's kind of monotonous, but in the end, it's gonna look really cool. See that? Mine are not perfect. Don't um, look for it to be a perfect shape. We're going for a little bit looser drawing today. It's gonna be cool. Okay, now we're ready to go around the edge. So take your marker nice and loose in your hand. Don't hold on to it really tight. Let's start up at the top here and we're gonna nice and loosely allow your hand to shake a little bit, go around this edge. See how it's not a nice solid line, it's more of a loose line. When you get to where you had your dots, you can just give a little hint of a line, hop onto that arc, give a little hint of a line over those dots, nice and light and loose around the connecting triangle onto the oval, a little loose line over those dots, around that arc, nice and loose around the oval, onto the connecting triangle and around that little oval back onto the connecting triangle. See how it's nice and light and loose. Um, we are giving the starfish like more of his spines when we let it be a little bit shaky as we go around these shapes. And I chose to use the ovals to draw our starfish to help us get the patterns of the spines as well as to give it um, like the meat in the body to make it thicker. So same thing all the way around, nice and light and loose. Okay, now we can add in some shadows with our dots. So in between those ovals, where we had those arced shapes, this part is lower as it gets closer. So go ahead and darken that line that you drew there just ever so slightly. You can head up into it a little bit if you want. Darken those. And then we're going to add in lots more dots. I know we've done the dots before in shading, so that's kind of exactly what we're going to do in these areas. We're going to go nice and close together with our dots and kind of spread them out as we go up. I'm using the dots this time because the starfish, they have a, a 
really strong texture. So we're using the dots to help create that texture. And we're just headed up the body. Make them a little further apart as you go up. Other side, nice and close together around that edge. And as you travel up that starfish's body, spread them out. If you notice, I kind of tend to make my dots in the same spot as I travel up, so try to vary them. I sometimes have to go back and add in some extra ones. So if, the, if that's happening to you and they start to see some lines forming, just go back and add in some extra ones. I don't know why I do that. I think it must be how I uh, move my hand as I go along. See how if you squint your eyes, you're creating a shadow there? Take a look at that. Squint and take a look. You'll see it. All right, same thing. We've got three more sections here. Up we go in our starfish. On mine, this one's a little bit skinnier. Might be the same on yours, or you might, might have spaced it differently than I did. It's kind of a fun one, a little beachy. Maybe you compare this with our mermaid and our seahorse that we've done, and you can have a, a little um, summer vignette. Hang them up on your wall together. All right, up we go. Last little section. All the way up. Now we're gonna add in, as we finish that off, we're gonna add in some more dots close to our spines that we had. Um, on either side, just go down and add in some dots that are kind of close to that, just like that. Just tap in your marker as you go down nice and close to that spine that you drew with the bigger circles. Same thing, headed back all the way around. We're going to do this probably, I don't know, two or three times all the way around. Down we go. Next one, dots all the way down nice and close to the spines that you drew the first round. Just like that. They've got like this bumpy texture. Have you ever held a starfish? Gone to the aquarium and held one or been to the ocean and seen one or held one? If you hold one that's like in a gift shop, they're dry and they're light, but if you hold one in person, like at the zoo or an aquarium, um, they're heavy. Okay, now we're gonna do a little further away, but that same idea, starting at the center, draw another row of lines headed down on either side. We may just have one more after this one. Spread it out just a little bit, nice and light and loose, just simple little dots headed down. We're going to go over that one again. Round and round we go. This one's kind of an easy one, so just enjoy it. We need an easy one on a Friday. If you end up with a couple places where your marker, like mine, touched down and it slid, that's okay. Don't, don't sweat it. I had a professor in college and she would always say, um, draw with intention and um, you don't make mistakes when you draw. They're happy accidents. So you just figure out what, um, what you can do to make it feel intentional or you let it be. And that is also what gives your drawing some um, energy. Okay, so at this point, I'm just kind of filling in where it looks like I need a little bit more. So you may just have like one more row to go. And if you wanna make your row a little crooked um, to fill in that empty space, that's what you can do. Down we go, adding in just another little bit there. I started to get those lines I was telling you about. I space them. See it? I do it. They're like all right in a row. So I'm just going to add in a few extra to throw off my pattern. Down the next side. Almost done. All right. Okay, now we're just going to add a little bit of shadow along this bottom edge. So where we had that edge of the starfish. I'm just going to go over that nice and light and wiggly still. Let that give it a little bit of depth. Just like that, nice and wiggly. And then on the base of this arm and the base of this arm, same deal. Just 
fatten up that arm just a little bit, but you're doing it in a nice, light, loose way. Well, let's do one more like that along this edge, that top spine along that right edge. We're just going to darken that side a little bit. We have a starfish. Okay, grab your eraser. I'm using a white eraser. Those are my favorite. Um, you can use a pink eraser. You can use um, the back of a pencil. You can use this kind of eraser. Uh, any kind you want. Steady your paper with your non-drawing hand so it doesn't crinkle like mine just thought about. And erase your guides. You're going to be left with a super cool starfish. I can't wait to see them. Send them to me in the comments below. I'll post them up on my website, Rebecca Ink, I-N-K, because I like to draw with ink. Um, you'll find your drawings under the interact tabs. Be sure to like and subscribe. Um, Rebecca Ink, I-N-K, on YouTube and um, Facebook and Instagram, all that jazz. Uh, thanks for drawing with me. Enjoy your weekend. Stay healthy, stay safe, be kind, and I'll see you next week. Bye.